Got my new cup. Do I look like a floating head? Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Emma. Today's video, as you can tell from the title and from the thumbnail, is going to be a clothing haul. It is going to be another secondhand clothing haul because my shopping secondhand doesn't seem to be slowing down. All the clothing that I've been buying has been secondhand, so either from the charity shop, I've got a couple of bits of vintage, and I did also go to a kilo sale. Some of these pieces you might have already seen if you follow me over on Instagram or if you've been watching my previous videos because I have been styling up some of these pieces already. Um, but I did just want to share them all with you in one video because I really like seeing what other people manage to pick up second hand. I think it's really, really interesting. And obviously I can't link the pieces down below, but I would definitely recommend checking out your local charity shops, checking out the kilo sales and checking on Vinted as well. Um, I just find it really, really fun hunting for a bargain. There is a lot of knitwear in this haul because all of these things are like very winter based clothing. So yes, it is very knitwear heavy but i have also a few other little bits and bobs to show you as well and yes i will be trying on the pieces and i'll insert cutaways so you can just see what the piece looks like on me but yes without further ado let's just get on into the haul okay so the first pieces i'm going to show you are the pieces that i picked up from the kilo sale if you didn't know what a kilo sale was it's basically where you can go and buy like vintage secondhand clothing and you pay um depending on how much the clothing weighs so the one that I went to, it was £20 a kilo, and I think I got 1.6 kilos worth of things. So I think I paid about £34, I think it was. But I will link the company down below in the description box, because they kind of tour around the UK um, in different cities. And I definitely recommend checking them out, because they're always really, really good fun, having a nice old rummage around. Um, I did go with Alex, and he did actually pick up a good number of jumpers as well. So the first two things I did pick up are jumpers, and the first one is this jumper which i really really love it's just like this beige waffle knit jumper and then i don't know if you can see it's got like specks of other colors in there um my sister did say that it looked like a granddad jumper but i really really liked it and i thought it was just a really really cute piece really nice and warm this is a hundred percent wool so it is a little bit itchy but i've been wearing a lot of base layers underneath my jumpers recently because it has been quite cold here in the uk i just don't feel like they make jumpers the same anymore like vintage jumpers are just so fun and texturized and like yeah i just really love the addition of those little colorful threads and i thought it was just a really nice little jumper something a bit different it is in a size men's large and it's from a brand called ll bean in maine usa yeah i thought it was just a really really cute jumper really really nice addition to the wardrobe nice and thick and warm and yeah i really really love it i have just worn it already with a pair of jeans and i really really liked it so yeah that's the first jumper which i really really love and then the second jumper you might have seen if you watched my outfits of the week like recent outfits video um i have actually worn this and i have got tomato sauce on it so if you can see that please uh just ignore it because i need to pop it in the wash and it is this one it's like this really nice knit i love the style of this knit i don't know what you call it but this i've seen quite a few jumpers in that sort of knit at the moment and then it's got like this nice like almost like aztec -y fair isle um print on it which I really, really like. I feel like it kind of makes it a little bit Christmassy, um, but not too Christmassy, if you know what I mean. I think it's just a really, really cute jumper. This one is a little bit thinner um, and a little bit more tight fitting. It's less boxy than the first one, but I really, really like it. I did actually wear it with a pair of leggings and I thought it looked really nice just with a pair of leggings because it is a little bit more long line. Um, and this is in a medium and it's from Nordic Legends. Just looks like that, but yeah really really like this jumper just really nice addition to the wardrobe that cute cozy look and yeah i just really liked the colors yeah because this stitch is almost like a gray purpley um which i thought was really really interesting so yes really really love that one okay and then the last two things i picked up at the kilo sale are both t-shirts so the first one i picked up i think i'll probably wear it more like a pajama shirt because it's very oversized but it is a vintage disney tee I don't know if you can see that it's very oversized it's almost like long enough to be a t-shirt dress on me so i think it'll be a really nice t-shirt to sleep in um but i just really, really liked the gray with the like navy ring detail around the neck and then like that faded mickey on it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the mickey t-shirt that miley cyrus wore in the used to be young 
music video and I just thought it was really really fun either just wearing like lounging around the house or like I say to sleep in um obviously I've not really had much wear out of this at the moment because it's a bit cold for a t-shirt but I really really liked it and I couldn't pass it up and then the next t-shirt is an American football themed t-shirt but it is for the Philadelphia Eagles which is Taylor Swift's favorite NFL team and she's got a line in one of her songs Gold Rush where she sings things with my eagles t-shirt hanging from your door and when i saw this t-shirt i just got that lyric in my head and i was like i need to pick it up but it's just this gray just says eagles philadelphia football i just really like the color combination actually i really like the green and i really like the shade of gray of it and i thought it was just nicely oversized yeah. i was like taylor swift has the eagles t-shirt i need an eagles t-shirt am i a fan of nfl not really but yeah i thought it was just a cute t-shirt and i just couldn't leave it behind when i saw it in there but yeah, i thought it was just like a nice graphic t-shirt anyway i really really like that i really really like a graphic t-shirt so yeah i thought that was just a nice addition um and i feel like graphic t-shirts are always best second hand because they just tend to be like that little bit thicker and that like nicer quality and i feel like they just fade really nicely as well so really really chuffed with all those so yeah like i said i think i paid about 34 pounds for all those things which i thought was pretty decent and then the next two things that i'm going to show you are things i bought off vinted so the first one is just a blouse um this is originally from new look but i thought it was just a really cute little blouse it's got like that plaid design on it but it's like dark blues and oranges and reds so i thought it was just like a really nice top for autumn winter just like having a little bit of a dressier top i i've said this many times before i don't own a lot of dressy tops and i definitely don't dr own a lot of dressy tops that are like more autumn wintry so i thought this was just a really nice addition i really liked the ruffle across the front and like that frilly neckline detailing and i really like the sleeves as well how they come in and they cuff at the bottom with little covered button like this detailing carries on on the back and yeah i think it's just a really really cute blouse um i have worn this with a pair of black trousers for work i did also wear it for a dinner just with a pair of jeans and i think it's just a really nice little blouse i think it's really really cute i think it could be nice with like a jumper over the top with like just that little neck detailing popping out um but yeah i thought it was just a nice addition to the wardrobe and i don't think it was that expensive i can't remember how much i paid for it i think it was only like three or four pounds but yeah i really really liked that just a really nice addition to the wardrobe and then the other thing i picked up is also from new look i think i got these from the same seller actually and please excuse how creased this is but it is a dress i did actually wear this in my newcastle vlog when i went to see nora jones and i really really love it it's just like this like baby doll style oversized dress and then it's got this really cool collar detail on it it's got like a massive collar and these big poofy sleeves and I just think it's a really, really cool. Um, I wore it just with knee-high boots and I thought it was really, really nice. And it has got all the buttons down the front. And I just really, really liked it. I thought it was a really fun dress. Again, I think that collar detailing, like coming out of a jumper, if you want to wear something over the top, would be really, really nice. Um, and it's got like nice elasticated sleeves. And yeah, it's got that nice oversized fit, but I still think it's quite flattering, especially with my knee-high boots. So it's really, really comfortable. And I just thought it was a really fun piece to add to the wardrobe i might actually wear this on christmas day with a pair of red tights um i feel like that could be quite a nice christmas day outfit because i like to get a little bit dressed up for christmas day but it's still really really comfortable because it's oversized and i can eat like all my pigs and blankets all my stuffing all my um cream sprouts you know and still have room so yeah i think it's just a really really cute dress it's like that like pop poplin material like that thick cotton and i just thought it was a really really cute dress and i really enjoy these like baby doll style of mini dresses i think they're just really really cute and quite flattering on my figure so yes this is a size 10 but obviously because it is like that more oversized fit um it does fit me really nicely so yes really really chuffed with those two bits okay and then the next two pieces i picked up quite a while ago from cancer research i think it was i can't remember how much they were they were probably no more than three pounds because most things in cancer research tend to be around three pounds um but the first thing i picked up you would have seen in my recreating pinterest outfits because i saw a picture of Hayley bieber i'll insert here wearing a red plaid skirt and i thought it was such a cute outfit um very like rachel green-esque inspired and i really wanted a red plaid skirt and i saw this one in a chariot shop it's not exactly the same and this is like a thick like that thick material i don't know if you can see that on camera um but i just thought it was a really really cute skirt i feel like this could be really cute around christmas time with a pair of tights and a little black roll neck that's how i wore it um and a pair of boots i am actually going to edinburgh 
actually when this video goes live i will be in edinburgh so i think i might actually take this to edinburgh to wear one of the nights um for dinner with like a pair of like knee-high boots and yeah i just think it's a really really cute piece it is in a size 14 and it is a little bit big on me so i do need to see if my grandma can resize it for me but i thought it was just a really cute little tartan skirt and like i say i did really want a tartan skirt but i'm not sure how often i'm gonna wear it i feel like it's definitely like a christmasy sort of like december november piece so i didn't want to buy one like full price so i thought this one was really really cute with that nice tartan print i thought it was just really really cute um and i think it'll be really cute in edinburgh with like a little black roll neck um tights my boots um just really really cute and yeah and I've been kind of getting into mini skirts recently. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see that I've been wearing quite a lot of mini skirts recently. I don't know why, because it's absolutely blooming freezing. But I just feel a bit enjoying like a little mini skirt every now and then, just switching it out from like jeans or trousers. I feel like I'm at that stage where I gravitate either to a mini or a maxi length. I'm just really enjoying a little mini skirt at the moment with either knee high boots or loafers. So yeah, really, really love that thought that was a really cute find and then the other piece that i picked up you would have already seen because i've shown this in a few videos it is this red jumper this is initially from matalan but i really liked it it's got that nice high neck and it's like that proper true red jumper i've worn this quite a few times and i really really like it it's a really really soft knit as well um and obviously red is the color of the season at the moment and i've been wearing quite a lot of red and i just really really wanted to pair a red jumper i've worn this with my little black mini skirt um, I really, really love that outfit. My little um, faux leather jacket. I really, really like that outfit. That was when it was a little bit... It wasn't as cold. I think that was something I wore in November. Um, but yeah, I think it's just a really fun piece. Like, either with a pair, nice pair of dark blue jeans, black trousers, a little black skirt, like I said. Um, I was just really, really enjoying wearing it. And yeah, like I said, it was £3 on Cancer Research. So you can't really go wrong. And then the last few pieces that I want to show you, again, are from the charity shop. They are from Mind. Um, and I actually only picked these up today. I went in just to have a little browse. This is like always what happens to me. I just like, oh, I'm just like, oh, I'll just pop in and have a quick little browse. And then I end up buying stuff. <laughs> So yeah, so the first thing I picked up is another knitwear piece. And I've not tried this on yet. So the first time I tried this on will be in the dry on clip. But I saw it in there and I thought this is really, really cute. Um, and it's like this ready brown. Again, that really nice stitching with like that little bit of white going through it. Jumper and it's actually a roll neck. Um, and as you can see, I'm really, really enjoying a roll neck at the moment. What I liked about the look of this one is it felt like oversized. I don't like, this one is quite tight, but I don't like a real tight roll neck. That's like, I only really like really tight roll necks if it's like a thin material. If it's like a more of a chunky knit, I like it to be a little bit looser. Um, just so it doesn't like overwhelm my neck. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. It actually reminds me a little bit of the knit of a jumper Rachel Green wears in Friends. I'll insert it here. Um, I think hers has got like a buckle detailing. I'm pretty sure she wears it in one of the last episodes. And it kind of gave me that sort of vibe. It is from the brand Light Before Dark. Which I have heard of before. And it was £6.75. The mind that I go to, I'm not sure if all the minds are the same, um, is a little bit more expensive. But I thought £6.75 for a jumper wasn't too bad. And I just thought it was a really cute piece. Um, a little bit more unique from my wardrobe. And yeah, I just thought it was a really, really fun jumper. Okay, and then the next thing that I got from Mind was a pair of trousers. Now these are probably gonna be more of a spring summer piece because I was on the hunt for a pair in spring summer and I never found them. Um, so when I saw them in Mind, I thought I'm gonna pick them up and give them a go. Again, I've not tried these on because I only picked them up today. Hopefully they fit all right. They're kind of a funky material, so we shall see. But they are these blue and white checked pants. They're gonna make the camera go all funny. Gingham. That's the word I wanted, gingham pants. I don't know if you remember, I don't know if I showed them in a video, I bought some gingham, white and blue gingham trousers off of Vinted a while ago. I think that was even last year maybe, but they ended up being capri pants, they weren't like full length pants. And I've still been on the hunt for a pair of gingham pants and I saw one on website, but they were quite expensive. So I saw these in mind and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pick them up and give them a go. They just look a bit like a chino pant, like they've just got like the detailing there. They do actually have buttons, but they're hidden buttons, which I do quite like. Um, and then they just go all the way down. They are kind of a funny material. 
um, which is interesting. So we'll see what they look like on. And then they do actually have an elasticated waist at the back and a cool pocket. And they do have belt loops. So I've got high hopes. We will see what they look like on. Hopefully they look all right. And these were four pounds. Um, and they're polyester and cotton. So yes, I'll have to try them on and see what they look like. I'm not sure how they're gonna look, um, but I thought they'd just be cute and like spring summer with like a little white t-shirt or something. Not quite sure, I've just had kind of the vision of a blue and white gingham pant. So when I saw them in mind, I just couldn't leave them in the shop. And then the last thing that I picked up in mind is another pair of trousers. I'm actually currently wearing a black pair of trousers. Um, which I picked up in a charity shop for three pounds a couple of months ago and I wear these all the time um, So I'm always on the hunt for new trousers. So I saw these in mind. They're originally from the brand Blue Nile and these were three pound fifty and they're like these greeny Brown Trousers, I don't know if they're translating on camera. They look a little bit grey there, but they just go all the way down They look like quite a thin material and I think they are going to be more of a slim leg and then they've just got a nice button detailing and a zip. They've got like this random seam across the bum, which is interesting. But yeah, they kind of remind me of the trousers I'm wearing today. So I want to give them a go because I do really like these black trousers. They don't have pockets, which is a bit of a shame. I thought they'd be quite cool. Like, I just love a pair of trousers with a jumper at the moment and trainers or boots. I wear trousers a lot to work and I didn't have like a pair of trousers in this shade. So I thought it would just be a nice addition to the wardrobe. They do feel quite thin, but I thought I'd give them a go um, for £3.50. Yeah, £3.50. So yes, that is everything that I picked up in mind. Okay, I just actually quickly had to go run and get this jumper because I completely forgot it. This is actually another thing that I bought off Vinted and it is another knitwear piece, but I did want to show you it because I think it's really, really fun and I do love it. I'm not entirely sure it suits me, but I love it and it's really, really fun. Um, but it's this jumper from Topshop. I don't know if you can see on camera how bright this is, but it is really, really bright. It's got like green, purple, pink, yellow, orange, like a dark brown, like stitching. And I just saw this on Vinted and I thought it was fantastic. I love this rainbow stitch. I thought it was just like such a fun piece for the wardrobe. I think it was only like three pounds, which is why I picked it up. And I picked it up in a size 12. And I probably would just have to style it with a pair of black trousers or something because it is very bold. But I really, really love it. I thought it was really, really cute. I'm not entirely sure it suits me. I think it's my hair colour. I think it would look better with a darker hair tone. But I really, really love the jumper regardless. And I just thought it was such a fun piece unlike anything else in my wardrobe and I just loved like the stitching detail like can you see that yeah I just thought it was really really fun it's just a very plain around neck jumper but in a really really fun color pattern I feel like the camera's struggling <laughs> to pick up all the colors in there because like there's like vibrant colors some of it looks like the arms look slightly more pastel than the body of the jumper and i just really really love that i thought it was just something really really fun and different so yes that is actually the last piece that i want to show you so that was it for the video um i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it i'd love it if you could give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which was your favorite piece because i'd be intrigued to see or let me know you like your favorite pieces that you've picked up secondhand because i'm just really really loving secondhand shopping like i've literally not bought anything new barely i really, really love all these pieces and i'm excited to style them up and yeah i would really recommend you checking out your local charity shop or checking out any kilo sales or checking on vinted as well there's just some really fun pieces that you can pick up and yes but if you are new to my channel i'd love it if you could subscribe and i will see you all next week in a brand new video goodbye